For the last three years, Corsell de Blanco has owned Miami, distributing cocaine. Ms. Blanco's operation has been efficient, deadly, and incredibly successful. That was a clip of the show that everyone is talking about, Griselda, starring Sofia Vergara. And joining me now is one of the stars from the show, Juliet Restrepo. I'm so excited to have you. Thank Are you, you having the best time celebrating the show? Yes, yes. <laughs> I knew it was going to be good, but their response has been incredible. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, it's pretty wonderful because women are celebrated. We get yeah. to see just how tough women get to be, but also <laughs> based yeah. on a reality. You know, I yeah. love that it's based on a true story. I know people are going to feel like relate with the the story and the yeah. characters and they're so complex too and I think that's fascinating maybe that's why people are loving it so much oh yeah right out the gate we relate with the women because they've yeah. been through stuff we've all been through something yeah all women can relate to that feeling yeah. of feeling powerless and yeah. out of control and yeah. we all want individuality and yeah. control of our and destiny respect too yes. you know like and then you see Griselda like fighting for that she's taking care of her family she's a mom and she's an entrepreneur in some way too and then we have the cop and she's like the good girl in the story, but then you're rooting for Griselda as well, because you, you kind of like understand what she's going through. So I think it's fascinating. I mean, I was watching the show and I couldn't believe I got to be part of it. <laughs> I love that when you actually get to see it and you're like, oh, it's oh. even better than it felt. Yeah, I know. I remember like going through the scripts. I sent the, I sent the tape and the, the audition and then it was great. And then I was like hoping for the call and then I got the call and then I was shooting it and then I had so much fun with it. Uh, and then I watched the show recently and I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I I can't even say how it felt because it it was great. I mean, it's it's so good. Like the cinematography, the music, uh, acting, like the cast and crew. I mean, I think everything was just like right time, right moment. So it was it was perfect. I'm I'm so glad that people are, are able to watch it now. And let's talk about your character. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Marta, Marta. Yeah, that's Marta Chua right there. She's a, a free spirit. She's wild. And it's, she's so different from me too. Yeah. And that's why it's so fun for me to play her. But it's so fun that most of my scenes are with Sophia as well, you know? So I get to create with her. I get to, uh, we got to collaborate and that's incredible. So I, that's, that's something that I really love about Marta. And I think she, in this world, uh, in this world driven by men, by, by men mm -hmm. she doesn't know that you can be so powerful as a woman. And that's how she, that's how, that's what she finds in Griselda. When you get to work in something like Griselda, like all those notes that you get in the in, in your journey, they're payoff. You know, like this is the this is why I've been doing uh, I've been pursuing this for so long. Because every time someone rejected me or someone I didn't get the job that I wanted, and I was like, okay, let's see what's next. And just let's keep doing. It. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then you get this, and you're like, okay, here's the persistent. And I know when I'm opening doors here. I'm also opening doors for a lot of people that come behind me, as Sofia Regara has done. Yes, and she's yeah. talked about how hard it's been for her. Yeah. In even though she's one of the highest paid actresses yeah. in television, it yeah. has been hard for her. She's been, you know, pigeonholed into roles. She talked about yeah. her accent being a barrier. Yeah, and she I think she worked on this one for fifteen years. Wow. Until you can guys finally watch it. You know, <laughs> so it's it's a long journey and I don't think people talk a lot about that, but I think it's so important to remember how hard it is and then you have to just yeah keep pursuing it and, and if it's your dream just go for it so i'm just grateful for like the inspiration that comes from uh, from people like sophia so i mean imagine this my first day on set working with sophia like there she is and there she is with colombian treats and then she's like treating everybody like amazing and then she you see her on screen and you're like and she did that too so she's a badass not only on screen as griselda but uh, yeah in real life too so i'm so glad that we have those uh models role models yeah. uh, role models in, a, in our life you have yeah. another project switch up yeah switch up is coming up that's a <laughs> romantic comedy i'm the lead in that one uh and i can't wait for you to watch it i mean it's it's i think it's great when you come from a show like griselda which is like yeah drama and the, there's blood and it's it's wild and then you go to a rom-com and you're like in love and then you deal with lo with love and, and all of that and um so so yeah i i, I mean that's my favorite genre you know romantic oh, yeah. comedies that's we I'm never get enough that. i'm like they they put so much money into the big marvel movies which there is a we need place more for these, that like rom-coms yes. guys we need more yes. and you have another role coming up yeah i got to be the lead in this film called estimados señores which is uh dear gentlemen 
and it's about um, the suffragette uh, for women in Colombia and how we got it. Oh, wow. And so that, that's uh, in 1954. Okay. And this woman, Esmeralda Arboleda, which is the woman I played in the, in the film, she was the, oh my God, she's a hero. She's a hero. She, she passed a, a few years ago. I didn't get to meet her, but I got to talk to her son. And he, he, he wrote a book about her. So we did the film and it's such an inspiring film. And the best thing about it is I was pregnant. So I was pregnant when I, when I was shooting Griselda. But when I was doing this film, which, which was like two months right after I wrapped Griselda, I had this tiny belly <laughs> with a girl coming Aww. and I was representing all these women from Colombia fighting for their rights. That's so wonderful to, get a vote. to have this memory linked with your daughter oh my and God. how it affected your future and yeah. hers. Yeah, and my mom, which always wanted to be an actress and she's oh. finally like acting. I mean, she's 70. Mom, she, she, she told me that I, I'm allowed to, to okay. say her age. Okay, <laughs> uh, she, uh, she's been acting for a few years and she got to be in the film too. So it was like so three generations. Dream. Yeah, she's wow. like three generations in the same film. So that's really powerful. And um, I had I had these monologues like like based on true events. Like she actually Esmeralda, she actually said those words, and I'm the one to I don't know. I mean I got I got a gift just being the one to, yeah, saying the words and and, and showing the, the the world how powerful we can be. And and yeah, thanks to her, we we're voting now in Colombia, and and that was very important in Latin America too. So. I'm just, I'm honored, and I can't wait for the world to watch that film. I know it's going to be very inspiring, too. Oh, yeah. Your mom has to go with you to the movies. I mean, you oh, made her dream come true. I know. She's so good. I mean, she's really good. <laughs> well, yeah. now you know where you got it from. You got it from um, your mama. <laughs> I, I don't know if Lucia, my daughter, is going to be an actress, but hopefully we'll keep it. Yeah, uh, in the family. You're yeah. going to find something for her. Sound engineer, <laughs> director, whatever she wants yeah, to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For now, she's one year old, and she dances. There you go. So She's already yeah. an artist, though. There you I go. I know. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Marta, cuéntame una cosita. En estos días tú has visto a Johnny, a tu primo Fabio, hablar o reunirse de pronto en privado. ¿De qué tienes miedo? ¿A dónde te va a dar nada ahora? Solamente quiero estar segura. When we come back, industry insider Gray Drake and I had a great time covering the Grammys, and we're bringing you some of the best moments from the red carpet. Girl. <laughs> Yes! Whoever's carrying your purse, I'm going to need a flosser after this.